Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new we do movie and series reviews, monthly wrap up tier list. We also do random rankings and like game board content as well. Just like very like few game board content. I'm like new to that. We are here to talk about the movies that I saw in August. Of course, as always, anything that I did watch within that month will be down below if you want to hear more of my thoughts on it. But let's go ahead and get on with this video because, you know, we've been pretty good with these videos. You know, we're, we're cruising right along with everything. So we're going to start off with Bullet Train. This is a theatrical release. We have a jam-packed great cast here. We're on the Bullet Train. We're trying to pick up a suitcase. We're trying to drop it off. Unfortunately for Mr. Brad Pitt, who's trying not to do like so many bad, bad things, he's on a train with a bunch of assassins and everybody has kind of like their motives, but at the same time, they're all there for like their own particular deal, but then they're also there for other deals. On Instagram, you can check it out. I did like some of my favorite summer movies. This was definitely um, up there on uh, the list. It is very quirky. Um, I do like like the action scenes. I love the colors. I like the soundtrack. Um, it was just a really fun, enjoyable summer movie, and um, actually, I'm gonna say it was pretty great. I had a really a lot of fun with it. Was it like great, 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 like the best thing ever made? No, I I I want to classify it as great summer movie. Yes, that's what it was. It was a great summer movie. We're moving on to Prey, which is a Hulu original. Uh, now, this is a prequel to the Predator movies. Now, I have not seen all the Predator movies. Um, I've seen like the newer versions of Predator. I just rewatched Predator, the first Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, before watch, no, no, no. After watching this one, I rewatch. It was kind of like a first time watch in a way because I hadn't seen it in years. I remember certain things, but then at the same time, I did it. I don't think I see Predator Two. But anywho, this is the prequel to it. A lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. Of course, we have that whole thing of oh, it's a girl. Oh my God, calm the fuck down. Okay, she's a girl. She can kick ass if she wants to. Um, certain things doesn't really kind of make sense. Seeing that she's been scared to hunt do things and then at the end she does other things that like didn't quite build up to certain things honestly i wasn't even expecting anything out of this movie because i really didn't know nothing about it like literally when i watched the movie i was just like hold up hold up i had to put pause and i go this is a predator movie <laughs> i had no idea but i really really like it like a lot like favorite of the year not that many movies have been making up to my favorite of the year you guys i don't know favorite of the year this year might be very similar to my favorite of the year so far i think honestly this might be the only one that knocked down number 10 and this one kind of moved up somewhere you can check me out on letterbox to see where it ranks moving on to another um theatrical release bodies 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 this is an a24 film uh so it is very like artsy and stuff i enjoy a lot of a24 movies um some more than others. I know some people didn't really like The Lighthouse. I was here for The Lighthouse. Midsommar. Love Midsommar. It's actually one of my favorite A24 movies. Um, I do have an A24 ranking on, on Letterboxd as well. If you want to check it out, you guys can follow me there if you like. So this movie really, really surprised me. Again, it's kind of like a whodunit thriller ish type movie. I think they may have it classified as a horror, maybe. But the way that the story unfolds of how they end up dying is kind of funny. Surprise, surprise, really, really did enjoy myself with it. <sighs> Moving on to the next 365 days. You're probably like, why do you keep watching it, you dumbass? I know, I know. You know, sometimes I have to take one for the team and watch something for you guys that I don't want. Even though I have said multiple times that I am not watching bad movies, but for one reason or another, I keep watching this. So, needless to say, it's a bad movie. Actually, you know what? Let me let me change bad because I don't have any other actual like really bad movies on this list. And we're gonna go on here worst of the year. I don't do worst of the year list, you guys, because you know I'm not trying to be mean. Uh, but obviously, if you check me out on Letterbox, this one's down there. I think first of all. Why did we get another 365 days within a 12 month period? I thought we were gonna get it till next year. Do not waste your time with it. There's absolutely no storyline. I honestly recommend for you to watch porn if you're trying to get off with stuff. Do not get off with this because this there's nothing to get off on this, okay? But we're moving on to Prime Video, you guys, all right? We're talking about Sylvester Stallone's newest movie, Samaritan. This is basically a superhero movie as well, like a, yeah, it's a superhero movie. It was it was an okay movie. It's something that like 
I think my dad may enjoy because of Sylvester Stallone coming on there. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't the worst of the year. It tried, but it was better than you tried. All right, moving back over to theatrical release. This is fall. It's kind of like a drift. It's kind of like um, 43 meters down. It's kind of like any like disaster movie where you're going out there doing some dumb shit because you want to be adventurous, you want to be thrilling, something doesn't go your way, and now it's you against the elements. And in this case, these two females climb up this very um, questionable, rusty, shut down light tower that's supposed to be like the tallest in the world or tallest in the US or tallest somewhere. I don't know you guys. Um, that literally they have a little light. It's so tall, they have to have a light on top blinking so the aircraft can see it and they don't like you know on it there's signs that say danger death do these two girls care no they don't okay so they climb up there and as they're coming down ba -ba 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 -ba, the ladder come down okay now they're stuck up there oh it was scary you guys i was like oh i can't even talk yet because it's coming back to me so it's heart pounding it's like palms sweating and you're like oh my god are they gonna come down like are they gonna survive what's gonna happen it's just like an elemental you know being up there how are we gonna survive it was a really enjoyable movie i really really enjoyed it uh um it stuck with me obviously because it's kind of like coming back to me the feelings that i have while i'm watching it so i definitely do recommend it if you're into these type of like one against the element so moving on to netflix this is Day Ship. I honestly just saw this movie the other day, so it kind of, it's, again, it's a good thing that I'm late on doing this, because otherwise this wouldn't have been on the list if I had done it before. So Day Ship, it stars Jamie Foxx. It stars uh, Dave Franco. We have Snoop Dogg, y'all. Megan Good, looking gorgeous as always. I don't know how I feel about Jamie Foxx with these Netflix movies, y'all. The last one, Project Power, I was not here for that either. This is a vampire movie. Oh, it also stars Carla uh, Suasa, Suasa, Susa. Not even in Spanish, she kind of saying names. If y'all are How to Get Away with Murder fans, um, Laurel, she comes on this. She's a vampire, she's a badass vampire. She's like the main jefe vampire, okay? I have never seen vampires quite like this. I don't think I've seen vampires quite like this. I could always correct, I mean, I don't know. But they're contortionists, vampires? Have you ever seen Contortionist Vampires before? Like, it was like a lot of like pointless things to it. It like it had me and then it lost me very quickly. We do start off really quick though with like vampire killing. But then it's just kind of like... It still is not as bad as the worst of the year like 365 days. There's just like nothing really good towards the movie for me. It didn't work at all for me. I love vampire movies. They actually do reference the Twilight series here uh, which I was kind of here for. You know this is just a movie that tried. It, it tried to be something different with the whole contortionist things. Last last on the list. Idris Elba in Beast. This is a theatrical release. Um, it's another movie that I actually didn't know nothing about. I just kept hearing a lot of things about this movie. Um, a lot of mixed things. Some people love it, some people hate it. Um, it's another one that really surprised me. Again, I just I didn't know anything about it. This one kind of like Fall was also very like, ah! But not as like, ah! Like the, like Fall, I keep trying to call it the, Fall had me like, <laughs> This one was just like, ah! Okay, so it's a little less intense in case you're not really into those intense movies. Uh, this was definitely less intense than that, but it was still like intense. Um, they do make a lot of stupid mistakes. I was just like, I don't know good and why you wouldn't be making these mistakes. Why are you doing this? Because you know, you know us color people don't be doing mistakes like this, okay? That teenager of his, I was just like, I will chunk you to that lion if you don't I couldn't stand her. Okay, I couldn't stand her. I was like, can you die? I had a whole thing, you guys. I've been mentioning my Instagram a lot today. I don't do that. I had a whole theory. Come on, let's let's, let's get into my theory of what happened with this, okay? So, my theory is, poachers came in, ba 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 killed everybody. This lion, you know, was the sole survivor. You know, ba 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 he you know, probably got shot a little bit in the midst of death somewhere over there. You know, we had a whole, um, what's it called? 
um, ghostwriter moment. Ah, meow, you know, trying to come. We have lion, demon come around, or maybe a tiger if you want to go somewhere else. Maybe like, oh yeah, it is the lion king, right? So the lion king comes around. You want to survive? You want your vengeance? Sign this contract. You're gonna be invincible. You're gonna have like the power of like tin cats and like bullets and stuff and knives. They're not gonna do nothing to you. You're gonna get your vengeance on these humans. Ah, roar for me. And it comes into life. And it's like bloody murder, revenge. And then like it goes rampage on like the village. And he just kills them. He's not like eating them. It's just like you're dead. You're dead. Out of women, children, men, and just Elba. His daughters are in from out of town. They're just on vacation to Africa. They're with the best friend. The god. I don't know where he stopped. And the tiger. I said, no, I said, oh, no, I'm in this again. It's Elba. He was some hot, good looking man. I love you. The other one that is like kind of like against the elements, against the nature. Ah, don't mess with you. Put the vultures. Man, yeah, I just got a real good glimpse of who I really am. I go like. They ain't no left field. Like I take like five laps, circle back around to the right, go straight, come back around, take another left. It's a great movie. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really great movie. I really enjoyed it. All right, guys. These are the movies that I watched in the month of August. I know we're in September now, but these are the month that I watched the month. The movie that I watched in the month of August. Honestly, September's kind of like. Low key, I think I've only seen like one movie this month, maybe two. I think it's only been one. So we September might be a slow month for us. If you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Let me know what you watched in the month of August. Are we watching the same things? Do you agree? Do you disagree? It's totally okay if you disagree. That's like the fun of things. All right, guys, that is it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.